Good morning, afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to check in with your Surface team. We wanted to cover a couple housekeeping things before we got started. This is a live event, so we are not able to turn on your microphone. So we ask that any questions be directed to the Q&A section on the right-hand panel. Beth will be monitoring and addressing these if we can. There may be a bit of a delay, so if you don't, we don't get to your question, we will be sending a recap document answering them all after this, as well as a recording of the event. Second, please note there will be several giveaway opportunities at the end of the event, and we will need to remain. You will need to remain on in order to win. There will be a link added to the Q and A panel that you must click on in order to enter. We'll let you know when it's available. Also, if you are experiencing any lags or delays, please log out and join back in. That should fix it. Later, we'll have uh, lastly, we'll have several presenters I wanted to quickly introduce. Adele Walsh, Bob Holzbauer and I, Callie Salonik, are your Surface Specialist team here at the Douglas Stewart Company. We also have our product management team, Dean, Tavi, and Beth. They'll remain mostly in the background, but they are the DSC team that works directly with Microsoft to bring promotions, marketing, product information, as well as this event. Next up, we have our Microsoft team. First, we have Amy Amagashi, the Education Business Development Manager. We also have Sh Siobhan Virdry, Senior Product Marketing Manager. Our first speaker is Amy Amagashi, and she's going to cover marketing. Thank you, Callie. Hi, everyone. I'm excited to talk to you about the marketing assets Microsoft has invested in to assist campus stores in selling Surface. Marketing has always been an important piece in managing your business. However, due to the pandemic, it has become a primary way to communicate with your customers. Social media platforms, emails, and your website to name a few. We recently completed a marketing bomb, which includes email copy, social media posts, and infographics by product. We also took the time to create separate marketing assets for students and departments. You may have received the bomb from your Douglas Stewart hardware specialist already, but if you haven't, you can download them from the Microsoft Information Center on dstewart.com. All you need to do is log into the website and scroll down on the home page to the Microsoft logo. While you are there, please check out the product videos and high resolution images within the marketing tools. You can utilize them on your website or within your digital marketing. You may also find the presentations within the sales assets to be useful while selling to departments on campus. I would also suggest you review the warranty information within the service and support tab. It's important to offer your customers extended warranties to protect their device against drops, spills, and more. They will thank you later. I hope one takeaway you get from the assets we discussed today is that Microsoft is invested in the education channel. We want to assist our campus store partners in providing premium devices to both students and departments on campus. Please feel free to reach out to me and we can discuss further. Back to you, Callie. Thank you, Amy. Next, we're going to be moving on to Siobhan, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Microsoft. Siobhan is going to give us an in-depth look on the Core Surface products. Hello, my name is Siobhan Verdry, and I'm the current Marketing Manager for our U.S. Surface team. I'm excited to be here today to showcase to you our Surface portfolio. So without further ado, I'd like to start with one of my most exciting new additions is our Surface Book 3. Um, as you can see, it still looks exactly the same as our previous one, but of course it's a lot faster. We do have a 13 and a half and 15 inch option still. Uh, what I would like to point out is we now have our USB-C port here and we have two USB-C A's here. Um, it is still our two in one. Uh, it is our fastest device uh, that we have. Uh, you still have the ability to detach the top screen as such, super fast, uh, reattach it and turn it into a studio. Right, studio mode allows you to quickly scribe. Uh, 
really excited about this 10th gen Intel processor, 15 and a half hours of battery life. Um, you know, when you think about those that can use this, this is a portable workstation. We're talking those that needed to use desktops, you know, if they need to be in a remote setting now, this is a perfect replacement device. Um, you think about those that need that need to have high access to data. Um, you think about creatives, engineers, architects, um, the students that are in schools that are needing these types of this type of power is great. Um, if you think about it, um, this now has NVIDIA uh, Quadro GPU. So we think about CAD and SOLIDWORKS, Autodesk. Uh, this is the perfect device for that. So um, this is probably one of my most exciting new options that we have to our portfolio. Next, I have our Go 2. Uh, the exact same size device, but the screen is a little bit larger. We've added a half inch because we've thinned out the bezels. If you look really close on the side, we've stretched, stretched the screen uh, further to the edges to give it a little bigger screen size. Um, so the device has not changed uh, the size itself. So the same accessories that you have a generation one will still be able to attach the keyboard here and the power supply here. We do now also have a USB-C port here, as well as LTE option. So on this one, you can quickly see that we have the port there that you can easily pull that out, put the SIM in, um, and connect to LTE. Uh, think about this device. I'm excited about it because I think it really is um, a great option for uh, students that need a low-cost device. It is Windows 10 Pro ready, so with M365, um, we think about Office uh, Suite that is heavily used in the high-end space. Uh, this is the perfect device for such. So for those low-cost um, needs, two-in-one, even LTE, uh, we're excited to bring that. And at the EDU, it's starting at $399. Really exciting. Next, we'd like to talk about fan favorite, our laptop. Um, our laptop three is in a, uh, we have a now 15 inch and we also have now an all metal finish uh, with this new black color. So you can quickly see here, this is not Alcantara, but it's an all metal finish. And uh, it's our tried and true clamshell. It's a two in one. It's not a two in one. It's just a traditional clamshell. So everyday user, if you think about those that just need an everyday laptop, uh, we're excited to bring this option to the team. Um, you can see here, we of course uh, added our USB-C. We have our USB-A um, faster than ever. I also want to call out that we do have a larger trackpad here um, than we've had in the past. Uh, so once again, talking about efficiency, productivity, we're excited to bring that to the table. And lastly, our tried and true pro. Um, this is our ultra versatile and light device. Um, of course, better than ever, stronger than ever, uh, 10th gen Intel um, with improved graphics. Now, if we think about this, we also have our new USB-C uh, port, of course, a USB-A. Um, you know, this is really going to be for those that need the versatility and the two-in-one, just something easily that they can put to the side, uh, carry around as needed. Um, this is that device. Uh, we just continue to recreate what we know best um, to be more powerful, longer-lasting battery life. So with all of these options, uh, what I want to call out is, like I said earlier, commercial versus consumer differentiation. We are looking for a device. We want to provide the best device uh, to our users and customers. And so in this space, we want to provide the device that offers Windows 10 uh, Pro. We want to provide the best security. We want to provide something that's M365 ready and then something that offers advanced exchange. I get a lot of questions about, well, what's advanced exchange? Um, Advanced Exchange is uh, the ability to get a device shipped out to you prior, the, prior to you needing to ship a device back if you're having issues. So a great example for times like now, if you are not in a physical space with an IT department, the ability to call on a warrant, our warranty desk and say, hey, my device is having an issue, uh, we can easily ship you out one immediately, reducing that downtime of a device, and then you ship that device back, your old defective device back when you get the new one. So that just cuts down on that time immensely, and it's just a huge option. Um, also that comes with commercial device is 
manage as uh, the top security. So we think about the best in class security uh, with modern security manageability within 365. Um, that allows us also, we you know about autopilot, the ease to provision um, as well as deploy and manage devices. So in a very spaced out environment, uh, virtual environment, one where we're not able to physically get to people, uh, we need to ship out devices. IT departments need to disperse devices. They can do so easily without having to touch each device in uh, image. So the device quickly just connects to the internet, it plugs into the cloud with a person's credentials, and then that person's unique profile is downloaded onto their device. Um, this cuts down on a, on a lot of IT time and hands-on time that they need to touch each device. So imagine um, now ordering a device for a, a user um, as an IT department and not having to touch it, but it goes straight from the distributor to your user. That's the ease of things when you're talking about a commercial device that is, um, that is Windows 10 um, and Pro with autopilot enabled. So that concludes my piece here today. Um, I know we'll get a chance to talk a little bit more about other things, uh, but if you have any questions on devices, uh, please reach out to your Douglas Stewart rep or myself. We are really excited about all the offers we currently have in market. Remember to take advantage of EDU pricing um, and thank you all for your hard work during this resilient time. Have a good one. Thank you, Siobhan. Now I'd like to walk through a couple examples where stores have seen success with Surface. This will help give you a starting place if you've never done Surface before or even if you're looking to expand. First, I wanted to talk about Alex Para, Alex Kahn and their team over at the University of Utah. I know they're trying to get logged on, so hopefully they're here. Um, they've worked very closely with their business school to get the Surface Pro 6 and now updated to the Surface Pro 7 recommended for all the EMBA students. The department includes the cost of the device in the program to ensure that all the students have the same opportunity for success. Streamlining devices also reduces questions and issues when installing necessary programs. Ensures all students have a pen enabled touch device as well as something powerful enough. Next, I'm going to have John Mondros from Virginia Tech talk about how they engage with departments. My name is John Mandros. I work at the Hokie Centric Computer Store, part of uh, Virginia Tech's uh, bookstore network. And I'm excited to talk to you just for a little bit today about what we do to interface with university departments, colleges on campus and their IT programs, their IT heads to get them the technology that they need and make sure that we have as solid a relationship as possible. Uh, the, one of the big ways that we do this that I think is great to address first is roadmap meetings uh, that we do annually, um, if not more frequently, with Microsoft and as many IT heads as are available on a given day. We reach out well in advance. We set up RSVP. We pick a conference room or something similar on campus. Coffee is provided, some light breakfast maybe. It depends on the situation and the timing of whatever event it is. And we make sure that um, they have a forum where we can get together with the IT heads. Uh, Microsoft can get a chance to explain new and exciting things uh, that they're deploying. Uh, departments and specific colleges, perhaps the College of Engineering, for example, can ask specific questions about things that they might need uh, for their faculty members, for labs, for students. It's a chance for everybody to just forge better relationships and speak to the technology that's new and changing all the time and those updates. Um, another important thing that we do is training for our staff. Everybody that's involved in selling technology for our bookstore network uh, participates in these events from time to time too. And any marketing material or new product launches, uh, those things are viewed by our staff members and everybody is brought up to speed so that at any given moment if uh, an IT director walks into the store or someone gives us a phone call in addition to being able to help our students we're able to answer questions all of our staff for anyone that may call for for any need when it comes to technology and it's just very um, exciting for us that the university and their various department heads know that they can stroll in and ask for whatever kind of support they need and be able to get it. And we do everything in our power to, to give as many face to face opportunities between us and the campus and between the vendor and the campus so that they know 
uh, the, their concerns and their challenges or something that we're all working to help them solve. And that's uh, sort of the two quick pieces that we do. We have some support pieces too um, for those that are able, um, being able to help facilitate uh, repair work for the campus or facilitate warranty exchanges. Um, that's something that we do for our departments as well as students and faculty that buy personally from us um, to make sure that they have every level of support and they know they have what they need from us. Um, just some of the really great ways that we work to be um, a real partner to our campus community and that any information they need, any technology they need, they know they can get from us and they know we have the newest information. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, I hope that uh, it's helpful uh, to know that there are lots of ways uh, that you can try to interface with your departments. Please uh, reach out to Cali if you want my contact information or our store's contact information. Happy to answer questions or talk more about it. And um, certainly happy to connect with anyone that needs uh, additional information from us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Callie, please speak more to anything that we do if you like. Thank you. Thanks so much, John. Uh, I was able to attend the event last year with departments and uh, Eric and Alex. There was a bunch of people on the Microsoft team that all went out and we hosted an event for the departments out there. We talked about autopilot, Intune. We talked about deployment. We talked about how to purchase. We talked about pricing and just a lot of things that departments need to understand and are looking to understand with the changing landscape. So if I can, I'm happy to share John's information with you. Um, it is true that every one of their store members has the ability to answer questions about Surface and just know that all of your staff on campus have the ability to drive sales. Next, the final store I'm gonna be talking about is Notre Dame. This is a new program for us this year with the Mendoza School of Business. Neil, the Surface Specialist at Microsoft, had been working with the Business School and they were looking for a solution to ensure students coming into the program were purchasing a device that would support their success. Nothing's more frustrating for a student than arriving on the first day of classes only to discover the software that they need to install on a device that they've not being able to install software that they need on a device that they've already purchased. To prevent this, the service team suggested that the business school put up a web link on their website directing students to purchase specific recommended devices at the bookstore. They also wanted to make sure that their students were covered for the two years that they would be there. And so the devices on the recommended page all come with two year warranties. The store then put a page within their page that linked directly to the selected devices to ensure that students purchasing device were purchasing devices that met their needs. The department leaders were, that we spoke with were also excited to be able to purchase those same devices for themselves. Creating these types of conversations and experiences on campus are a great way to start working with departments to show your support for student success. After all, we all know that having the right technology can make or break any situation. Up next, we have Adele to discuss the Surface Zero Risk Program. Hello, everyone. Today, I'd like to take a moment to speak to you about our Zero Risk Surface Program. As we all struggle to find a new normal, many campuses are still trying to figure out how to provide their students with devices that can accommodate different scenarios. Whether your college has chosen to fully open its campus, remain a remote learning center or, or a combination of both, we can help you provide a zero risk option for your students with Surface. Douglas Stewart maintains a very robust inventory of Surface products at all times in our warehouse. Doing so allows us to be able to ship devices to your store for pickup, directly ship to the student as you sell them, or to restock inventory for those of you that will have actual student traffic. If you choose to inventory Surface devices, the risk will remain zero with our 90-day return policy. Any current Surface device that you have purchased within the last 90 days can be returned to Douglas Stewart for a full refund. All returns must be factory sealed to qualify. So next time you're thinking about devices, I urge you to consider Surface. Everyone wins with our zero risk program. Now we will hear from Bob, who will be speaking about how to sell Surface into the departments. 
Thank you, Adele, and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time during your back to school rush. I will be covering the basic ABCs of selling to departments. All of you are used to selling directly to end users, but many of you have not explored or maybe even been allowed to sell directly to your college or university. There are certain must haves or questions you need to address when selling to departments. I like to use the classic three W's, who, what, when, and throw in a how. But before I cover this, and this is directed primarily towards independent stores not directly associated with the institution, are you an approved reseller to the college? Many colleges and universities have a list of approved vendors, so please make sure you are on that list. And are you approved specifically for Microsoft? Some institutions actually stipulate authorization by vendor or manufacturer. Now, on to who. At smaller colleges, assistant professors and lecturers might design their own syllabus, but departments at large universities might require teaching from an established curriculum, so it's best to find out who you should be approaching. Colleges and universities are famous, not unlike government agencies, for having differing procedures for procurement. That doesn't necessarily mean you should only talk to people who make the final decision. Contacting a course instructor, a departmental receptionist, or possibly even the registrar might enable you to find opportunities. It will also pay to get an enthusiastic advocate on your side, so I strongly recommend utilizing your surface rep. If you're uncertain who your surface representative is, please contact us after this presentation. In short, understand the institutional layout. One of the marketing angles you can use, although probably not an option at this time, would be to hold surface events such as demo days directed specifically at your target department or departments on campus. Contact your Douglas Stewart account manager if you are interested. On to what? Departments instructors set their own curricula. It's important to know what that curricula are. Find out if they have an approval process, and does that include providing evaluation units? These are available through us in conjunction with Microsoft. In short, know what your departments need. That often requires a wide range of options. Microsoft has a wide range of models with various specific specifications. Included are the Surface Go 2, Surface Laptop 3, Surface Pro 7, Surface Pro X, and Surface Book 3. So, now that you know who and you know the what, time to make the call, right? Eh, not necessarily. That brings us to the when. Colleges have strict budgeting schedules and deliverables. If you're late to the game or too early, you risk losing the sale until the next fiscal year. In short, know your target's budgeting schedule. And lastly, know how they buy. Do they go out to bid? Is it yearly, by semester? Or do they get quotes or requisitions on an as needed basis? This is especially timely under the current situation when everyone is scrambling for devices to support distance learning. Also, when do they need product delivered? All at once or delivery through a certain timeline? This can be important as it may go across product refresh cycles. Do they need extended warranties? Warranties can be key differentiators and the reason to buy from you. It also can provide you with additional margin opportunity. As previously mentioned, all the new Microsoft products you buy through Douglas Stewart come with one year warranties with advanced exchange. Additional warranties are available in two, three, or four year increments and can also include accidental damage coverage. These can be ordered at the time of your purchase or can be added to your existing inventory within 45 days of invoice. Also, don't forget to ask if they need additional accessories such as pens, mice, or docs that they may not have included in their request for pricing. All of this and more can be found on the DSC website under the Microsoft Information Center banner. There you will find marketing tools, sales assets, service and support numbers, and most importantly, training for you and your staff. In addition to product training, there's a specifically a section on departmental selling, and there's a short quiz to take after you review. Thank you so much for attending, stay safe, and make sure to stay to the end to register for the giveaways. Back to you, Kelly. Thanks so much, Bob. And to add to what he said, there are a few additional things when working with department or anyone for that matter that I'd like to cover. First, simplicity. One of the most important pieces to success with anyone is keeping it easy and fast. For departments, punch out pages with their purchasing website that link to your website is one way to create simplicity. 
Easy access to your catalog will help drive conversations regarding opportunity. Ensuring that your website is well organized and surfaces separated on their own ta tab, like we see with other brands, help keep customers looking on your page, but also insist them finding what they need quickly. Adele mentioned earlier that we keep high stock levels and can quickly ship. So we also ensure encourage you to include the whole catalog. Check out what Aisha, I know she's listening. Is doing with Microsoft on hers. She has Microsoft called out. She has all the Surface devices. She calls out what's new. You can click to see more and she also has recommended accessories. This is a great example of how to simply organize your page with the new things first to help customers shop. Also, advertise autopilot. This is Microsoft Windows device management services that allow you to set up and pre-configure new devices. You can also reset, repurpose, and recover devices. That can cut down on time for deployment for departments significantly. Most universities utilize deployment software to manage de devices on campus. It's possible that many of your IT teams are already using autopilot to manage their devices. Letting departments know that with a few simple steps and a meeting, we can get started. Second key factor is collaboration. Working with departments to drive high recommendation programs like we utilize at Notre Dame, and Utah help drive sales through the store. It also ensures students are purchasing devices that meet their minimum requirements for all four years of college and the degree program choosing. Working with specific degree programs can also help drive web traffic by creating links to your store on their custom page. And in a time like COVID, we all know that web traffic is crucial. Once you're able to get buy-in from departments, the next crucial piece is ensuring that your staff is well educated on surface. John over at Virginia Tech touched on this as well, but you do never know when a key decision maker is going to walk into your store and talk to any one of your store staff. Having them well versed on why surface and what are the features and benefits is important. The Douglas Stewart website has a reseller training program that you can utilize that can be utilized by all staff members without a login. We will provide a link in the recap documents but here is where you can find it on the D. Stewart website. If you click on the services section and go into info centers and click on the Microsoft Information Center, it'll bring you to this page. I don't know if any, a lot of you know that we have this, but there's marketing tools, sales assets, service and support documents. So if you have questions about how to utilize your warranty, how to share with students what the warranty looks like and covers, but also sharing with departments marketing assets. We also have the reseller training program. The reseller training program is located right here at the top. You can take the departmental sales training quiz as well as the surface product training quiz. I also encourage you if you're able to put training devices or information on your website. If you're able to put videos on your website, it helps sell. Please note that all of the additional content is available and we cannot express enough the importance of your web presence. Having product available online for ordering is important. We know that some stores are opening, but there's still a lot of distance learning. It's also important to advertise promotions. Here's a list of the current promotions that we have available through the end of September. We have discounts on the Pro 7 laptop and book. We also have some essential bundles. These bundles are great for back to school marketing in your store to show them that you do too offer surface back to school savings. This I7-16-512 Surface Pro pen type cover and device bundle over with a complete purchase saves approximately $500 retail. It's a little bit lower with education pricing because you do get a discount, but I think it's a nice call out for both students and departments. Thank you so much for your attention. We're glad you've stayed tuned. Next up is Adele to share what Surface is doing to support collaboration with teams in the classroom. Hello again. 
Schools across the country have had to make swift changes in the way that they operate. Although some of these changes are temporary, some of these changes have been made permanent for an unknown amount of time. Microsoft has invested a lot into helping everyone with these transitions. Microsoft Surface not only offers reliable premium devices for faculty and students to use, but they've also helped make the transition to remote learning easy. Microsoft Teams is free for students and universities. It brings together virtual face-to-face -face connections, assignments, files, and conversations. Plus, Microsoft Teams is accessible through mobile devices, tablets, PCs, or even via a browser. This allows all faculty and students to use it. Microsoft Teams allows you to enable a secure online classroom and create a collaborative learning environment. Teams allows you to utilize pre-made videos for a true asynchronous learning experience and they run more, more synchronous class sessions where the faculty can discuss research articles and the videos that you've already put up for your students review. To learn best practices in remote teaching and learning, Microsoft also offers remote learning webinars. Many schools with a College of Medicine might not have online classes due to the nature of in-person learning, like labs and clinics. In a College of Medicine, these are often team-taught courses. Teams has allowed many schools to rapidly convert a significant number of courses into an online delivery method. Faculty, classroom management, and student engagement can be made easy. You can build your lesson plans and your course curriculum all in Office 365. You can also create teams to virtually meet with your class or other educators. So whether you're new to remote learning or have been doing it for years, Microsoft has free, easy to use online learning resources to ensure your success. Now we're gonna watch a short video on Teams. Microsoft Teams for Education, the online hub for your real-time classroom. Here, you'll find a team for every class, PLC, and staff group. Let's check out a class team. Create a new class team, and the general channel will show up automatically. Other channels you get to create yourself for different topics, student groups, or units. And the organizing doesn't end there. All channels come with chat and files tabs to sort conversations and materials. The chat tab is a great space for announcements, class discussions, and questions. When you share a document in the chat tab, you'll find it automatically saved in the files tab too. So you and your students can quickly find that one document without scrolling through weeks or months of conversation. If you want your students to access, but not edit files that they'll use all the time, you can add them to the class materials folder where only teachers can make changes. You and your students can also start fresh and work on something new without leaving Teams. In your general channel, tabs enable even more classroom work with built-in class notebook and assignment tabs. With class notebook, students can access a private notebook right in Teams. When it's time to assign work to your students, select your assignments tab, create your assignment or quiz, and send it off to a class an individual student, or multiple classes. To study up on all things Microsoft Teams for Education, check out support.office.com education. Finally, we have one more short video, and this is announcing the new Surface Duo that we are all excited about. So let's listen, and then we'll hear from Siobhan one more time.
ready? Thanks, you too. Um, let's see. Uh, so, hello. I'm super excited to talk about Duo and um, you know what's what's brought to the market. It is our two-screen uh, foldable device that also allows us to uh, make calls. Uh, it runs on Android 10 um, OS, so it, you get all of your favorite apps on there. Um, it starts at $13.99. It will be the same price in um, in consumer, um, but this allows us to do more multitasking. I don't know how many people use dual screen mode when they're um, when they're working, but that's the same thing here. We're thinking about um, we created this for people that are on the go, executives, students um, that are on the go, constant constantly. I think we're all moving, um, maybe not as much as we were in the past, uh, but we have the ability to. Um, see multiple applications at, uh, at once or have the ability to fold the phone all the way back and only use one screen. Um, so pre-orders are available today. Um, please uh, feel free, you can do that through Douglas Stewart. And um, we will be shipping um, September 10th. So if you order today, hopefully you can get that in your hands as soon as possible on September 10th. Um, really, really excited about it. It's like 250 grams, so light and small. And if you think about uh, Surface Go is 10 inches, um, with one screen is 5.6, and with both screens, it opens up to 8.1. And the ability to take 8.1 inch of screen um, size and put that in your pocket um, is pretty uh, impressive. So we're excited to bring this new to the market. And um, yeah, uh, please let us know if you have any questions about that. And uh, hopefully we can get these in your hands in September. Thanks, Siobhan. And now we're going to send this over to Bob. Thank you so much, Siobhan. Um, just a quick note before we start addressing questions. Uh, please go to the chat section and click on the link to register to win one of the giveaway Surface devices or other prizes. So let's attack some questions. Thanks, Bob. Our first question that we had sent in is, we have a defective Surface Pro. Please advise on how we can replace it for our student. Well, all the devices have advanced exchange, so if they wanted to get it done quickly, uh, they can take it, contact Microsoft directly, either by phone or by email. Um, the Microsoft team will address the issue if they can't fix it over the phone. They will send out a replacement device immediately under the Advanced Exchange program. Uh, the end user would get the device replaced and they would ship their defective unit back to Microsoft in the same box they received the replacement in. Um, so there's no cost to the student and that is provided with a call tag as well. Thank you. Another question we had sent in is, can we get warranties upgraded on our existing inventory? If so, what are the options? Uh, yes, you can get warranties upgraded on your existing inventory. Um, it is within 45 days of the invoice from Douglas Stewart Company. Um, to do so, you would send in the end user information, their name, address, phone number, email address, the serial number off of the unit, the date of purchase, and a copy of the receipt. Another question we had during this event is, does the Slim Pen work with all devices? Um, the Slim Pen is really designed to be used with the Surface Pro X because it is rechargeable within the type cover when it's not in use. The pen will actually work on all the old devices, but like I said, it's really designed for the Pro X. All the old pens will also work on the Pro X. However, the older pens or the pens that are designed for the Pro 7 and all the other devices uh, will not fit in the tether of the uh, type cover for the Pro X and they will not recharge. So it's best to stay with the, the pen that uh, the unit is designed for. Can anyone get EDU pricing? Great question. Um, EDU pricing is really designed for students, faculty, and staff of a degree granting institution with an EDU address.
Does the Duo support Adobe applications with pen input? I'm going to have to pass on that one. I don't know the answer off the top of my head. Dean, do you have answer to that or? No, Siobhan. Um, as of right now, the Duo is working on Android apps, so I don't think Adobe has an Android app right now, so I, I don't think that might be in our first generation. That'd be more so something for our future uh, Neo. <laughs> All right, Surface Pro X has an issue with brightness. Is there a fix for it? Uh, again, I don't have a ready answer for that. Siobhan, have you heard of anything? Can you restate the question? The Surface Pro X has an issue with brightness. Is there a fix for it? Uh, we do not have a patch out for that as of right now. When can we start placing orders for the Duo? Uh, the Duo should, we should have Douglas Stewart part number set up hopefully by tomorrow. Uh, we're just waiting on final promotional pricing and things from Microsoft directly. Is there a date for the Neo? There is not. <laughs> <laughs> all right i have the v1 dock will it work with all the current devices uh yes the docks will will work across all devices uh the new dock will as well the only difference is the connectors on the new dock but they will work across all the device families will the old type covers still work with the new sp7 and the go to uh, that's a mixed answer. Um, when you're talking about the Surface Pro family, um, all the type covers will work on the 4, 5, 6, and 7. When you're talking the Surface Go, um, the type cover will technically work on the Go 2 and the original Go, but there's additional features in the new type cover for the Go 2. So technically, yes, on the Go 2, it'll work all across, but there is an advantage to ordering the new one. Um, as far as the type covers for the Surface Pro family, it anything anything will work across all the families. Is Microsoft Surface considering increasing the processor in the SRFC Book Three, something with a six core or eight core? I will defer to my Microsoft teammate. <laughs> um, I mean, with our book three, we have the NVIDIA GPU, um, the latest 10th gen Intel. I'm not sure which um, that's the latest. Those are the latest chipsets we have in the book three. In addition to that question, specifically for the Quadro graphics card line. Right, right. So we have that NVIDIA Quadro GPU. Uh, the GeForce uh, graphics card option is available. Well, excellent. That is all the time we have for the Q&A. Callie, can we send it back to you? Thanks so much, everyone, for your time today. We'll be following up with the questions and answers, and we'll have a recording of today's event on the Microsoft Information Center soon. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.